In this video, I'm going to give you an insight into the automated website scaling strategy, which I will be building out over the next two to four weeks. Hopefully I will be done within four weeks. Um, but this strategy is a more holistic approach uh, to scaling websites where we look at the different aspects that needs to be included in order to proper rank and create an authority around a website. So if this sounds interesting, then uh, please continue to watch the video. Let's take a look at the overall strategy that I have uh, put together for automated website scaling. And again, this is my idea of what is needed. You might have a completely different idea and a different strategy. Um, I'm just sharing what I will be building out in terms of automations and steps. So I've broken it into five different categories or steps, which the first one will be a topical keyword map. Um, the second step will be the uh, block booster blueprint with <laughs> version three, which is our automated article writer. So this is the content writer part. We then have automated internal linking. Um, we have white papers, which follow in the long of automated content, but it is a different beast uh, to tackle in terms of how to construct white papers. And at the end, we have automated link building. So I don't, I know that it doesn't say automated in front of all these steps, but that's kind of what I do. I automate stuff. So I will be automating all of this. Let's uh, unfold these steps here and see what we're actually going to do. So for the topical keyword map, um, we're going to automate the keyword map, of course, and we're going to do it by um, going in and scraping data for SEO which is a, uh, a SEO platform which where we can scrape keyword information, SERP data, all that stuff. And I'm also going to add in a, an automated scraping step for Answer the Public because Answer the Public has very good um, like keywords or a map type of approach to a niche or a keyword search. So my idea here is <clears throat> to combine both data for SEO, so a keyword map, a dense keyword map, and answer the public. And then we're gonna aggregate uh, all this data using AI to come up with a large topical keyword map, which is divided into different groups. So we will be grouping keywords together in verticals and we will be selecting the search queries which has the highest volume and the lowest keyword difficulty so i know with uh, the google updates there's a lot of going on but uh, i still think that going after low competition keywords with high search volume is a decent idea when starting out new sites or growing an existing site that might not have that much traction so going in and looking at the keyword data at scale, finding the search volume keyword difficulty uh, combined with answer to the public, they have a search volume as well. We can put that, um, combine all that data, and then constructing a large keyword map with, I would say about three to seven groups uh, within a niche. So you might put in a topical keyword map that is automation or data processing um, or hobby fishing or like, like something very high level. And we will be aggregating all that data into a, an automated topical keyword map, which has groups and underneath the groups or the vertical, we will have each keyword listed out, including search volume keyword difficulty for each and every keyword. Um, so we can kind of like construct these good topical keyword maps based on actual data. That solves the first problem, which is what should we be writing? Like, that's always the problem. Like, what keywords should we be writing about? What topics should we pick? Then we're gonna tackle the an updated version of our article writer, the Block Booster Blueprint. The reason why, because we want, uh, what we're gonna get out of is automated content. 
and what specific content we're going to get out of this process. So we're going to get articles and we're going to get mid journey images implemented into the article. So there's a like for this specific piece here or this step we have down here, this framework for the new version of the article writer, it will have, I won't say more features, but it will have better flow of how to construct an article and how to generate something that adds value. And we're going to add, so we're going to write articles and we're going to be able to write listicles, how to guides, um, best stuff, VS, like we, we won't be restricted to certain just informational type. Well, it's going to be more dynamic and we're going to use mid journey to create all the images. So we're going to create hero images and we're going to create images for every section or every second section inside the article. So that's going to be very interesting to see. Then we have an internal linking step, which I know a lot of people have been wanting to have this automated internal linking. Uh, what this will do, it is will help Google um, crawl our website so we can gain topical authority better. The thing here is that we will, we're going to need the topical keyword map in order to do the internal linking. The reason why is that you can YOLO into internal linking and just link randomly throughout your entire site. And that will help. Um, so you're going to fetch uh, different anchor text and um, link that anchor text to a relevant article that will, of course, help um, the crawlers find the relevant content. But what we want to do is we want to connect group one and uh, this keyword here. So this is a tier one keyword, which is a higher level keyword where we want to connect. Um, let me just move this and this here. We want to connect all the tier two keywords, which is in group one. So this is one big group this year. This is a cluster of keywords inside the larger topical keyword map. And we have a main or pillar article called, uh, I don't know, best software for automation. Underneath that, we will have tier two keywords, which is um, Sapier review, make.com review, um, Sapier versus make.com, all those different types of specific keywords that relate to a main topical or a main keyword up here. The reason why this is structured like this is we're going to create what is called in a pillar or a silo of keywords. So the, these are clusters. So we're interlinking the cluster itself and we're linking back to the main keyword itself. And the main keyword here will, of course, have links down as well, not to every tier two keyword, but to some of the tier two keywords. In order to do this effectively, we need a topical key keyword map first in order to group the keywords together in the correct manner. So we cannot just um, start with internal linking and then build topical keyword map. We need to build it out in this way here. And this is going to be interesting because um, this is very hard to do. I'm not going to be I'm not going to lie on this. This like internal linking automatically internal linking in this way is uh, very hard and I haven't seen it done before. I have different internal linking tools software where I can do internal linking between random articles and that's okay. And that helps. Um, but doing it in an automated and structured manner. So we pre pre built the, uh, the structure of how things should be linked together is coming from the topical keyword map. So that's going to be very interesting to see how this uh, pans out. And this might be where <laughs> I'm going to get stuck on automating this. It is a feat in itself for white papers. What we're going to get out of is we want to get organic backlinks because white papers are data filled articles, which is not <clears throat> necessarily easy to read. 
but they do have um, a lot of uh, infographics, for example, and a lot of data. How we're gonna do this is we're going to go to Google Scholar uh, and scrape that. We're gonna go to data.gov and other databases where we can fetch data. And we're gonna scrape all that data and we're gonna construct um, a specific writer which will create these large white paper type articles. What we can add on top of this is automatically generating infographics, which is also um, a task or a large task in itself because you cannot, there isn't any software that does automatic um, infographics well. There are someone that does a little bit, but it's not super. So what will need to be done here to create the infographics would be to define three to seven different uh, templated infographics that we can describe and we know <clears throat> all the different uh, text fields inside the infographic. We will then create an AI to, once the article is written, or once we have all the data, we will then uh, pull out that data and have the AI pick the different or the three different infographics, for example, that would fit this article, and then have it construct data specifically for those infographics and inject that info into the infographics that will then fit the article. Um, so again, a lot of work to get that to work. And the last step is link building. So link building um, is the reason what we're gonna get out of this, we're gonna get high uh, domain DR backlinks. So that would be the uh, Huffington Post and um, New York Times and Forbes or whatever. These articles often, you can often get citations. And we're gonna do that through Haro RPA automation. So Haro as we know it, where it's based on email, is gonna disappear. Um, so we have to switch and Haro is sh sh um, changing names to Connectively. We're also gonna use featured.com for example. Um, and we're gonna be building some RPA automation tools to automate these new platforms due to the fact that we cannot automate the uh, in the simple way through uh, email because they moved it on platform due to the high spam rate. So now we have to think out of the box and automate it in a way with RPA. And if you don't know what RPA is, it is robotic process automation, which is the computer can click on your screen and do stuff that we cannot do through API and uh, what's called DPA automations. And DPA stands for digital process automation. So this here, the automated website scaling strategy is what I will be building out over the next probably four weeks. Let's be honest because it will take at least a week per <laughs> per step to build out. Um, so I hope you thought or think this is interesting and I hope you gained some knowledge on how to look at uh, website scaling strategies this is at least what I'm going to be building. And all this here, all the automations will be available for the people who are uh, in my, uh, on our paid plans. So we have a free community where you can get a lot of free stuff. You can, for example, get the Block Booster Blueprint V2 in there for free, which is on Airtable and Make and get that up and running. Um, but the new stuff here, will be limited to the paying members only due to the fact that this is begin like this is enterprise almost enterprise grade automation stuff that will be built out here and you can build entire companies on on just for example this keyword topical map or the topical keyword map alone you can build entire companies on this um, rider here alone and you can build entire companies on like each of these ones but each of these will be available for the people who are on uh, on our paid plans which is the abc platform um, 
plus we'll be adding more to that platform uh, in the coming weeks so we will be adding more stuff more features and more software into those uh, into that subscription um yeah so i'm gonna do what all youtubers say not to do and say we're not gonna talk anymore and i hope to see you in the next video about more automation stuff so have a great day bye